Hey Golden Taurus, we got your daily read for today. Um, only be a quick one. We're going to use uh, three different decks at the Spiritual Message. We're out of 21 cards. Out of 234 cards, we'll only use 21, so seven cards out of each deck, and we'll see if there's any doubles, let alone triples, for the um, extra emphasis of the Spiritual Message. I hope you're having a lovely, beautiful day, and if it doesn't resonate, have a, lo have a nice day. But if it does, can you give me a like or subscribe? Other than that, we're going straight into it right now. Touch the third eye at the moment. All right, but that's that's the interconnectedness of us all. That's what that is. All right, the aces are inspiration, so it's a gift of inspiration. Now, aces in themselves are baby steps. Okay, they're divine gifts. Okay, but it's the start of something. It's the start of something creative in itself. It's like the start. It's the best way to say it. But trust your third eye at the present moment. It's on fire. All right, so trust your go. Trust trust your intuition. That's the best way to say it. But. You know, it's like positive new beginnings, I suppose, but it's fresh inspiration. Like the spark, so, like as it's flaming, it's a spark, you know, in itself. But it is opportunities. You could be cycling through manifest different types of manifestations or cycling through manifestations on your, of, of, of your life, I suppose. But it does give genesis of hope and genesis of dreams. You know, that, that beginning of creative downloads as it, as it pushes you through the, through the blocks and illuminate those ideas, yeah? You're growing in your mind in some sort of way, yeah? Because you might be growing spiritually, all right? I mean, everybody is growing spiritually every day, aren't they? But with this, it's like that spark of that spirituality with those creative downloads. But, you know, I heard Genesis, Genesis, Genesis of hope, Genesis of dreams, Genesis you know, in itself, you know? And that would be cycling through the manifestations and in order to bring bring natural cycles of life and then have those positive outcomes, you know, like at a... In a, in a turning point, you know, getting your rewards and seeking that fulfillment in order to be un unapologetically yourself, you know, and a, and to ability to draw on the past in order to create a better future tomorrow because you learnt yesterday in order to put yourself be for a better trajectory for tomorrow by thinking today, uh, the best way to say, especially with that creative download and trusting that intuition and, and that spiritual growth. You know, with the Queen of Pentacles, she, she is the Queen of Abundance, okay? So she is abundant in her mind. So the person I'm talking to is abundant in their mind, is like a welcoming nature, because she's very welcoming. That's what I get from that picture. She's very welcoming. She's a natural, genuine, nurturing person, like a nurturer, like I'm talking to a working parent. I'm talking to a gifted healer. I'm talking to somebody who is abundant in their stability because she's poised and she's elegant. She's sitting in a solid foundation, but it's more comfortable. She's comfortable where she is, if that makes sense. The uh, Queen of Swords is sitting on a s solid foundation of of concrete. Yeah, the um, the Queen of, the Queen of uh, Cups is sitting in water, which shows her ability to manifest through that uh, emotion and and show her heart to be wisdom and love and and to be able to connect and lead through her intuitive heart as she openly expresses deep love. Yeah, and then the the Queen of the, uh, the Queen of um, uh, inspiration which is the queen of wands is she's inspiring she's a social butterfly she's uh, she doesn't care what anybody thinks she's just bold expression in itself and she's fearless in her actions as she's the life of the party she's the social experiment if that makes sense because she won't care what anybody thinks and she's able to step forward but in that she's sitting poised and elegant she's just ready she's a beautiful the person i'm talking to is a beautiful spiritual soul okay yeah, put your boundaries in place Know that you're lovely. You're enthusiastic in those boundaries, you know, and be enthusiasm and, and have an enthusiastic approach to life, you know. This doesn't have to mean 100% boundaries. Yeah, she's got nine wands, and yeah, she creates a fence for that boundary. But the boundaries are healthy in life, okay. That, that, those boundaries help her to sit in this seat so elegantly wise and so, fuck the light, so elegantly wise as she sits in that seat and be poised and elegant into herself and know that she's a beautiful soul. That's why she puts the boundaries in place is to know that people can't come along and walk all over them. And that's why she stays enthusiastic about who she is, yeah? See? The emotion there. Dream. Manifest that genesis of hope and have the joy of things to come to fruition. And that's what I got out of that card, the moon card, of intentionally weaving that web of your life. Like, we're coming back here to the webs. Intentionally weaving that web of your life and quickening the journey, but j just doing it through your mind and, and manifesting those genesis of, of dreams and having those creative downloads as you have the passion in invoking invoking the spark I suppose is the best way to say it as you walk towards your dream and correspond with with who you are as you come to fruition and, and it, you know and it's like a time for those seeds to come to harvest because in the nine of one she's not only just nine of um she's not only just 
the nine of boundaries. No, she's a wounded warrior. She's been through it. She's been right through it with her with her life. She's life experienced. She's she's beautiful. She is the last defense, by the way. That's what she is in that picture. She's the last defense. You know, she's protecting and setting the boundaries in life in order to follow through and have that final push. And she's not going to give up too early because she's resilient. Every soldier is resilient and she's vigilant as well. She sits there and guards her sentry. She's unwarranted defensiveness as well as she sits there ready for her last stand and she's ready to make and have that final push into who she is and be the best version of herself and ignite that spark into her, because I'm getting spirituality, into her north node and become a spirituality in itself and then step through with proper completion because that's what she's trying to do there. And now you're leading to this card, which is to be unapologetically yourself. I only have one card, which is unapologetically yourself. And here it is right here, because you beat to your own drum. In my readings, this is not a, a teenager. A knight's a teenager in, in a collective, in a, in a non-collective's read. If you were sitting in front of me as a personal read, it'd be different. But in this, where the collective's read, they're energies. I read the cards as energies. And this energy is a teenager energy who's, who's fearless. She won't care. She won't care who's watching her beat to that drum. There might be people in the background judging, but she won't care. She's a teenager energy of the fearlessness of that. If she was a queen, she would care. She would care. If she was a king, she would be diplomatic and care. If she was a child, she'd be too embarrassed. But in that teenager energy, she doesn't care. It's why she beats her own drum. And she's unapologetically herself and proud to be that. And putting them boundaries in place and having the light surround you with your spirituality leads you towards trusting that third eye so you can openly express who you are and step forward to being the knight of wands. And then that knight of wands is, is your bold expression of who you are. That's the best, best thing about her, that she's spontaneous. She's creative. She's inspiration. She's the galloping pulse that gets things done. Look, in the background, there's a horse which shows freedom and endurance as she steps forward. She's the, the impulsiveness of that magnetic sympathy. And she, she literally has the path that's most exhilarating as well. And that's the truth. Out of all the cards, hers is most exhilarating because she is passion. She listens to her pitter-patter of the rain and calls out the wind. And she grains of sand as she understands under her steps. She shakes her wild mane and roars with a giant flame to life as she's beaten to a drum. And that's the de that's de definitely the beautiful way that that works. Yeah, her, her skies are filled with, with a beautiful symphony. As it's beautifully lit up in the background, it shows that she is enthusiasm and she is passion. And she is charismatic energy. She's not just the, the, the page of ones who has that enthusiasm, which came out before. She's the, the knight who acts. The pages are messengers. Yeah, the knights act. They're erratic. They act. And she invites you to run with her and be ready to charge, charge to the world. That's what she does in that card. And that's why you would want to protect them boundaries and be resilient, especially in new journeys. Take the, take, take the leap of faith. That's what that is. She's already le taken the leap, leap of faith. She's already trusting the universe to catch her. She's already fallen back. All she's got to do now is fall into those celestial waters and have that sacred geometry of life take over and allow her to be who she is. She has a purity of thought in her hand too with that amethyst of that crystal there. It shows her beauty of her heart and how pure her heart is in order to have the inspiration in the other hand, which is the same inspiration I'm getting out of the three, three different wands cards I've got other than the Queen of Pentacles to show you how poison elegant you are. That and that, she's got the wand in the other hand to show that inspiration as she steps off into her journey yeah, because that's the fool. And the fool is the card, every card in the whole journey. That's the fool they're bending to their own drum. Yeah? And she goes in the deck. The whole thing is centered around the Knight of Wands, which show that you are ready and, and passionate with enthusiasm to charge your head to get what you want. Yeah? Because you co-create with the divine. See the, the divine hand at the top there? That's your hand at the bottom. It's not that you're looking for a hand out. It's the fact that you know when you put good energy out on your journey. See the journey underneath there? That with the affinity sign in the background, anything's possible because you put good energy out to the universe. That's how you can fall into the back of those celestial waters in that full, in that full card there and take it because of that purity of that heart. You can literally give to the universe and give back without any problems or any, any, anything bad happening because of your strength and the strength in your heart. I'm, I can't see the cards until they're on the screen in front of me. That's how I'm doing this. I don't look down unless I'm looking at the cards and when I do, all I see is that. Yeah, because I don't want to know what the cards are. I want to know when I'm on the on the screen, so it puts emphasis to the spiritual messages that I'm giving, and the and the channeling in the background that I can hear. Yeah, have a beautiful heart. These cards are showing it with the amethyst there, that purity of that heart, the giving and receiving of that that six of pentacles there, and then the heart around a chest. As you are the sacrifice, you are the goat, the greatest of all time. Yeah, you go in harmony with that lion and and that that goat down there, that sacrificial lamb goat, whichever way you want to look at it. I don't know.
But the best part about it is they go harmony in, in, in harmony in the world. And that is giving and receiving. And that's purity. And that's beautiful because you have a quiet serenity to be unapologetically yourself. That's what the cards are telling me anyway. Is that you're able to walk on, on knowing that you have that calmness and that patience to be a gentle soul as you step forward, being that flaming inspiration of who you are and knowing that you have courage and warmth and confidence in your power to be dynamic. And look, it's under the deck. Affinity again. But it's in the man manifestation card, the, the alchemizing, the magician. You know what alchemy is? It's being able to take something and turn it into something. And that's what manifestations are. That's what you can do. Just, you've just got to believe in your heart. And you do it out of the purity of your heart. That's the best part about it. Let's switch the decks. So 1044 on the clock then. You don't pay attention to that. You don't pay attention to lovers who come along and play games and want to gossip and whinge and snicker and, and, and you beat to your own drum. There it is. The whole thing's centered around the Knight of Wands and there she is back again beating to that old drum. It literally puts emphasis on it. You don't care about that. All you want to do is be, be you and be unapologetically you as you walk through life. Yeah? And put those transformations into play. Be the social butterfly and the butterfly in itself which it goes into the cocoon as a caterpillar and comes out as a butterfly. Is a butterfly a caterpillar? Or is a caterpillar a butterfly? Or are they two different things? However, one was born one and transformed into the other. And that shows exactly what I'm saying with this world web of this world, of anything's possible, of affinity. You can literally see it there, 100% in a butterfly. Because it goes in something that nobody ever seen. You would never, ever, ever think if, you, if you'd never known that a caterpillar was a butterfly if you, unless we've seen it thoroughly, okay, in itself. And that's the world. That's our beautiful world that we live in. And it ain't a perfect world, that's for sure. But you, you're you living it, living it 100%. The cards that are flipping are ridiculous here. You're living it 100%. And you're not allowing worldly things. What do they say in the Bible? The world. Be of God, not of the world. Be of the divine source, not of the world, yeah? And that's this is of the world, to be like this. You're not like that. That's the truth, because it's leading to the boundaries in place in order to make sure you can beat your own drum. Spirit gave us that card so you can not be worldly, Yeah? Be fierce, Seren. Be, be fierce. Be strong. You've gone through some horrible things in your life because you don't just wake up one day from crying and, and put the strength in place to be those boundaries in place and have that strength. No, you earn it through life, through life experience. And by being the beautiful heart that you are and learning through life experience. Literally, that's learning. That's the only learning card we got in here. The rest of growth and things like that. But this is the apprentice card as he learns. Yeah, and you, you literally walk through life with a beautiful heart, offering your love and often compassion to everybody and just know you're a beautiful person and that's your victory. And there is the same wreath right there in that completion because that is success in the world there. It shows you're not worldly. You're out of this world and you're able to manifest out of the sacral chakra of who you are because the affinity in that sign is the same affinity that's in that sign and they're completely different cards. It shows that you put the hard work and determination in to know who you are. So that's why you can beat your own drum, beat at your own drum, and be unapologetically yourself with an inspiration. Yeah, because look, you are divinely guided in life. That's what that card is. It's divinely guided. That could be pay attention to your intuition. That could be pay attention to any the messages received, like myself, giving them to you. That could be pay attention to your third eye, the same thing that started at the front there. Pay attention to your gut feeling and like knowing the difference between a heart emotion and, and a third eye emotion and a crown chakra emotion. And leading, leading beautifully as you step towards those sacral chakras and that sacral water with that purity of that amethyst in that hand as you step towards every day with, with freedom and endurance to be the best person you can potentially be. And that's the you learning. And that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Look, that's her. She's beautiful. You're stepping off in the right direction, whoever you are. I just want you to know that you're beautiful. See that? She's the Nine of Pentacles. She doesn't need anything. She doesn't want anything. She's just happy and content in who she is with the inner milestones met. And you would be. Because the card above it is giving and receiving to the universe. We're now leading into this card here. You've got double emphasis on strength, which shows how beautiful you are. You come through some stuff with that crying in that night and that sleepless nights and the anxiety and depression. Brit wants to know how and wants you to know how strong you are because above that is in its north is the Queen of Pentacles, which shows how poised and elegant you are to go through those situations and still and still be the beautiful, strong, confident person you are. Not everybody comes through them and still be the beautiful, masculine, and feminine of that that Ten of Cups there, the joyful, happy completion of that heart. Some of them go through and horrible, yeah. However, in this card, the card before it shows if you're single. 
that you don't need anything, you don't want anything, and if it comes along, you have pride in yourself and you you know your boundaries, and nobody should be crossing them at all because the Nine of Wands is boundaries and the Nine of Pentacles is here. And the best part about it, it leads to this, because you're learning in life, You when the Ten of Cups was to come along, you'll, you'll appreciate it because it will be a strong love. It'll be a strong family and it'll be strong because there's even strength in that heart that's, in, that's held close to a chest, yeah? You'll know to cut straight through each and every bullshit with your morals and integrity that you have a strong person and you will step forward knowing knowing damn well that you deserve every single thing in this life and nobody's going to come and take it and nobody's going to tell you that you don't deserve it because you do deserve it. The reading screams it. It's you use your unique intelligent wisely as a clear thinker and a strong communicator as you walk through with strength in yourself in order to be the best version of yourself and know that when you walk through life to, towards that ten of cups which is there, which is that joyful meaningful connection in order to have that community and completion into your beautiful heart as the universe is connecting with you and through your loved one, through your ancestors and through your beautiful heart as you step forward using that unique intelligence wisely. And in that is your courage and bravery and strength and spirit wants you to know how strong you are. And that's beautiful in your spiritual pursuits. And that's that card there because that's the whole reading in the middle of that row there, the row there that leads you towards this deck now. Yeah? We don't, like it, that's the first card that came out in that middle deck. We don't pay attention to this crap. That's worldly crap that makes us sleep, stay up at night and sleep. Now that's tricksters. That's deception. That's gossip. That's spiritual jail. That's, that's spiritual gossip. That's spiritual... That's... um. It's, that's the magic that happens, that um, spiritual magic, yeah, where they think that, they think that they're going to manifest out of gossip and think they're going to run around and tell everybody all this crap about you or, or these, do all these things about you that are just not true. Spirit's not allowing it because that's worldly. Spirit's going to trust you light your third eye on fire that much that you won't even have to worry about that anymore. You've got love coming in because that's a two of cups there, okay? You got love coming in in some sort of way because it goes from the ten of cups, like I was saying, that when you walk through, you'll have it come through because you've you've learnt who you are, and spirit is pulling you in some sort of direction in order to have your abundance. Look, that to that to that. Look, that's the hermit there, and what's the hermit but introspection and finding the guru within, and you can't get it without logic and smart and being and going through life experiences in order to get to that energy there of that king of swords, male or female, is irrelevant. Look, and now we've got six swords here as you walk towards it. Now, that was the five of swords there that we just had underneath the deck. And, and that is gossip. That is stress. That is it's a spiritual um, magic that comes around with all their gossip and all their, their ties that they think they're going to be able to do. And because your love and your heart, that, that's, it won't happen. And if it does happen, it only sinks through so you can get stronger and stronger and stronger in your life. Yeah. I only have one Trials and Tribulations card, and there it is there. That's learning the lessons and trials and tribulations to step forward knowing your journey is, it's, it, you've learned enough in order to know that you're ready for the next journey, if that makes sense. You've gone through the one through the ten in order to step through and, and learn in life in order to have your, your teamwork and the family and everything that you want, yes, but this is a card of working. It's a card of team working in an environment. We've got the six of pentacles up here, but the three of materials here, and it shows as we've got strength, as we lead on that direction or towards that six of pentacles, it shows that you're co-creating with the divine because in between that six of pentacles, I have the high priestess energy of somebody who is um, divinely led in life. So you can see that you co-create with the divine. And, and of course you would, a page of pentacles energy where you've gone through the trials and tribulations to level up and be the person that you are. Yeah, you've released any fears. You have addressed any shadows. And if you haven't, you're definitely working on them. Not everybody's perfect. That's for sure, because we don't live in a perfect world. This here is trusting your intuition. But what it does is, is the moon highlights things we can't see. So it doesn't have to be bad and it doesn't have to be good. The best part about that is above this is I've got more moon energy in that high, trusting that intuition. See, trust it. Be to your own drum. Be unapologetically yourself. The moon highlights things we can't see, but the best part about the moon is it allows us to be the best versions of ourselves because when we do see them, we're able to address them so we can literally be the best versions of ourselves and nobody can come along with their bull crap and their worldly crap and their deja vus and all their shit crap and illusions, you know, and hidden truths in order to basically put them into your obscured knowledge. You're able to push it out and the need to trust that intuition with instinct 
and dream and have that subtle illumination because there's another idea subtle illumination it gives you the chance to for the troubles to see the paths that are ahead i suppose is another way to look at it because you're you're that connected in it gives you a chance to see the paths that are laid ahead so you're able to address them before they get or if they do get out of control you're able to put that you know that shadows in place and, and cast those illusions and 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 without true clarity see find find what your quiet strength is in order to um be sure of yourself be sure of yourself and have have that light that bends and and lengthens through the moonlight for you as the moon child to be able to step forward not that you're a moon child but the fact that it's there as you're beating to that drum and uh centered around that whole energy at the moment that it shows your voice streams in louder now as you find peace within the shadows for find peace within the shadows which means putting the boundaries in place and and have that magic that is there to find that deep truth in your calling of your soul and you your discernment as you step to step towards your walking the way that you want in the path that you will de indeed be walking regardless because it's we live in fourth dimensions three everybody wants to talk about the three dimensions i'm going to tell you about the fourth dimension we live in one which is length another one which is is, is width and the other one which is height so therefore we have our anything that we can move here i can literally pick it all up and move it all around yeah but we live in fourth dimensions. Time is the fourth dimension, but we can't maneuver it because it's uh, it's constant. That's why every day is a blessing and every second of the day should be appreciated. So we can step forward and be unapologetically ourselves. And that is fearless. That is the king of inspiration. That is the chance that leads you forward to know exactly who you are and, and know that your paths are maybe not unique in themselves because it, you know there's something around the fact that everybody is interconnected with that interconnected web. But your individual path when you were born was already set in order for you to know that your path will indeed be uncertain at times but allow and allow your fears to dissipate into the sun so you can peek over the horizon at every dawn and every morning what do they say in egypt that every day is a fresh new day and and they beg the god to bring the sun back up and that's beautiful because it shows that they are appreciative of every single day that steps forward we only got two more cards to go that's a beautiful day and that's literally what this card means look at all the moons in there that's what this card means, the balance of masculine to feminine, the balance of yes and no, the balance of negative and positive. Balance, harmony, going in life for harmony and appreciate what, what you have and just loving you. And that's what you're doing at the moment, especially with that co-creation of the divine and that heart that wears on the chest in order to lead to that 10 of cups, which is the best card in the whole deck. It gives you the chance to understand the meaningful connection, but have the joyful connection as it's intoxicating for you at the time of life. It starts with love and it goes through a whole lot here. Whoa, what's trying to flick out? And come to the world. Yeah, completion, wholeness. Having that beautiful satisfaction into who you are and knowing you're a beautiful person. Knowing that who cares when anybody thinks? Be you. Be unapologetically you. The whole middle aisle is centered around the world and it ended with the world, which is wholeness and completion. And it shows, like not only with the Page of Pentacles, it shows that you're ready for the next level up because the world... The world shows the fact that you in yourself are ready for that next ascension because this card, this card here, if it would zoom in, zoom, oh, protein. This is ready to ascend to new levels of awareness. You know what the next stop from this is? The new trials and tribulations to learn so you can keep growing in life. That's the best part about it because you are love and you will send to those new levels and in completion and achievements and, and joys and finishing projects and finishing things out so you can come full circle into who you are. It shows that you're ready to, to be able to manifest anything and walk and when you get those manifestations, be able to appreciate them. And it can literally mean traveling the world in some sort of ways, but what it means to me is new levels of consciousness, especially with the beautiful temperance angel that watches over you and keeps you safe. You're a beautiful and amazing soul and I want you to know that. The whole reading is centered around how divinely guided you are and to trust your intuition and trust how beautiful you are. Yeah, oh, there it is. It just, <laughs> it just goes. I want you to have a lovely, beautiful day. You've got several of these cards here, which is be to your own drum and be unapologetically yourself because the purity of your heart. You co-create with the divine. You are strength. You can manifest anything you want out of your hard work and determination of becoming a beautiful soul. Your angels do watch over you, keep you safe. If you haven't got love, it's coming. Because why would you care? At this present moment, in this cyber energy, you would just be unapologetically yourself because once beauty does walk up to you, you're not going to reject it because you have brains in your head. Look. See? And if you've got the love of your life, yeah, that's beautiful too. Just get ready for the, t the next part that comes along for the ten to provide another cup, another part, another thing that fills up another part of this beautiful ten of cups. 
and appreciate it for everything there you got because you can learn the trials and tribulations toward anything in life. The whole universe is built on love. Have a lovely, beautiful day and just God bless and I just wish nothing but the best for you. Have a lovely, beautiful day and take care.